Alrighty guys, welcome to my third tutorial on Python with Jupyter Notebook. I hope you're having a great day. So today I'm going to be teaching you about headings and markdowns. All right. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with it. All right. So let's say uh, I want to create a heading. So all you have to do is click this uh, option right here that says code and go down and there's an option called heading so go ahead and click that and click OK and there you go so this is your heading whatever you type here comes out as a heading all right this is not part of your code remember that all right so what should our heading be let's see uh, how to make a hamburger all right so since this is a hamburger tutorial, why not do this? Anyway, so let's press enter and it goes down. All right, so as soon as you press enter and go down, you can see that this thing right here has changed from heading to markdown. So markdown is basically like a subtext to your heading. So let's give it a subtext. So before doing that, I'll be adding two asterisk signs here. So what this essentially does is it bolds your text. So this is a markdown with the sub subtext and it will be in bold. All right. So let's say that I want to know what ingredients do I need. So say ingredients. I hope I got the spelling right. And you have to end it with two asterisk signs as well. And then your third row will again be a subtext, but this time I won't bold it. And let's say that, wait, um, all right, so what uh, ingredients do you need here? Let's see, beef and uh, like maybe eggs and maybe some breadcrumbs. All right, guys, don't get the wrong idea. This is not a hamburger tutorial. <laughs> I'm just giving you an example. All right, so I'm pretty sure you need more ingredients than that, but I think that's fine for the tutorial for now. Uh, anyway, so let's create another subtext with the bold heading and let's say step one All right, and let's bold this again. Sorry. Yeah, and let's say that all right the step one will be uh, preheating the oven All right, I think that looks pretty good. Let's uh, We may as well get it looking a little better caps lock and stuff all right so let's run this right here and there you go pretty awesome right so this thing right here is my heading this thing all these things right here are my markdowns but uh, since I used the asterisk signs for these two things so they were they have gotten bold and these things are the normal markdown texts pretty awesome right so so this is how you create a heading and a markdown in Jupyter Notebook. All right, so before ending this video, I want to teach you one more thing and that is comments. All right, so before I teach you how to add comments on your code, let's actually create a code, a basic one. All right, so first of all, let's create a variable. Uh, let's take the same variable which we had last uh, in our last video. Let's say hamburger. All right, guys, so uh, always remember whenever you are adding a string, you need to have them under the quotation marks. Whenever you're adding a numerical, you don't need to put the quotation marks. If you put the quotation marks for a numerical, it will assume that it is a string instead of a numerical. All right, so let's run this. Uh, and let's do one more thing. Let's say type of bag, all right? So, all right, so there you go. So what this function right here does is it essentially tells you what the variable here, what type the variable here is. So as I already told you, this is a string because you use the quotation marks. So that's what they have mentioned here, str, which means string, all right? Now let's create another variable. Uh, let's say x and let's give x a value of five and run this thing and type of x sorry x run this and as you can see this is an integer now not a string but suppose i have another variable called n and i put it under quotation marks 
and run this and now I search for what type the variable n is it will actually give me a string all right so I hope you got the difference now so anyway let's get back to our business I wanted to teach you how to add comments right so let's say I want to add a comment here describing what I basically did in this code right here so the first thing you need to do is press the hash key once you do that you see that the color of the text changes now you can add your comment all right so let's say created a variable bag and assigned it a value sorry hamburger yeah there you go run this and there you go that's your comment so this is how you add comments you can add comment to each and every code right here describing what you did so that a person who is reading your code understands what your code is and what you've actually done all right guys so that's it for today's video i hope you liked the video please like comment and subscribe it motivates me to make more videos see you in the next video goodbye